Hey Taurus, welcome to your November reading at Wild Pearl Tarot. I totally appreciate you being here. We're going to be getting messages about love and career. We're going to start with career, however. So if this resonates, claim it, collaborate with my energies, hit the like button, say hi. Um, and if it doesn't, consider checking out your moon sign, especially if you're born at night. That can be really helpful. So career for Taurus present situation for Taurus, we're going to take the cards that choose us. So we're only going to take the flyers like these one, <laughs> like this one. Okay. All right. So we've got the eight of swords. We're off to quite a start with these cards, like flying all over the place. We got eight of swords and we've got the Hierophants. So being stuck, feeling stuck in the way uh, that things are being done right now. Now this could be like that it's a little unorthodox and, uh, doesn't feel pleasant for some reason. It could be uh, that you're just kind of tr feeling trapped somehow. So the, the Eight of Swords talks about the stuck feeling, but in fact, one can leave that stuck situation any time. They can take off that blindfold, they can unbind the ropes, and they can walk away. Present situation for Taurus in career and finance. Please, Clarity, which Taurus are we talking about? Okay, so we've got others here. This could be fellow employees. This could be um, work comrades. If you are an employer, this could be those you've employed. And the choice that needs to be made. With a lover's card and a career reading, it's not necessarily romantic. Um, could be, but it's not necessarily romantic. It's about a choice. So you're feeling a little stuck um, re in regards to others around you at work and the way things are being done. All right, so moving forward, speaking of moving forward, so Chariot card is about moving forward. Despite any bumps in the road, that black and white sphinx right there that is leading the chariot they represent the good and the bad of a situation. All that's important is moving forward. We have the Seven of Swords. This introduces a sense of deception. Somebody pulling the wool over someone's eyes. This could even be you pulling the wool over your own eyes. But it's something about money. Um, I feel strongly that you want to move forward no matter what. But there is um some deception um for some of you guys it could even be somebody taking money away from the company somehow and i know that's really extreme so it's a small percentage but whether that's wasting time on the clock so to speak or actually taking from the business with the king of pentacles upside down with the seven of swords it's just like this somebody's up to something that is not serving the business very well and you may feel this but you don't have proof um and so that's the stuck feeling right you can't talk about it with a the knight of swords excuse me page of swords upside down it's something you don't feel like you can fully um uh approach or what's the word um confront because it's more a hunch that you have, a feeling. And so, okay, anything we need to know in the past, anything that contributes to this, that's helpful. The sun upside down, okay. So it's like the, the sun, no matter what, when it comes out in a reading, is always a positive sign. It's kind of like in this case, the sun is right behind the clouds. But let's add, ask advice from Tarot in regards to this, Taurus. Advice from Tarot for Taurus, finance and career. There is victory here. There is victory. And you do, your, your intuition is on point. Advice from Tarot for our Taurus. Cards are really withholding. Advice from Tarot. Death card. Something's got to go, right? 
The death card is about rebirth as well. And with the death card, it means it's almost like a natural death, like something has to come to an end. Something's already, it's already there, kind of. It's just, it's it's got to fully come to an end. Um, that's either a chapter in life, that could be somebody's employment, that could be, um, you know, you get the picture. But with that comes rebirth. With that comes fresh options, fresh people, fresh um, opportunities. And that's important to keep in mind and advice from tarot for career and taurus yeah you're going to be coming out of a place of disappointment this came out in reverse so with this this is all very positive you will have victory this is really what it looks like when a chapter ends and if you've been feeling that there's some deception somebody pulling the wool over somebody's eyes and it has to do with money like somebody taking credit for something, somebody stealing from you, somebody stealing from the business, somebody wasting your time because time has value. Time is money. Either way, if you have a sense that there is some deception, you're probably right on about it. You will be having victory and there is an ending of a chapter here and you're coming out of this disappointment place. Very interesting. Okay, so we're going to put these back in the deck. We're going to get some insight on love for our Tori. Um, yeah, it's it's so interesting what the, the, the tarot is so consistent with messages. So that's, of course, only going to be speaking to certain a certain group of you. We're all going through different things. But all right, so for love. So present situation in love, there's this offer. Somebody might not necessarily take this offer, but there's this offer coming through. It might be met with apathy, judgment. This is big change on the horizon. So I feel like this is happening now for a lot of you guys. Um, so I feel that somebody's making an offer, five of pentacles, um, and it, it's not necessarily gonna be taken. At least currently the energies are saying this is, there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger transformation here. Um, I think somebody's trying to resurrect something. Um, and we've got the five of pentacles, was, which is like the sense of being left out. Tower card. So big changes. So there's a big shake up here. Something that was out of your control. Something that's changed your life. And whether or not that offer is coming through as an apology, or if it's, um, I think it is an apology for a lot of you guys. Um, it doesn't matter, like you can't turn things back, you can't turn time around, but it kind of needed to happen to shake everything up, like everything's leading to the next step, of course, but um, it's like whether you accept this offer or not, things have already changed. Temperance change, right? This is alchemy, that's why they're pouring one one cup of liquid into the other. It's that water into wine. It requires balance in order for that um, change to happen. So something is developing here. Something is transforming. In order for it to transform, two things have to happen. Patience and balance. If there's anything in your love life, anything about yourself emotionally, even in the physical realm, like exercise, sleep, diet, that needs to be balanced. Temperance is telling you for this transformation, this spiritual transformation to happen, start by transforming your material plane, your in material environment. We have an offer coming forward. Now, I don't know if this is a past offer. For some of you guys, it might be, but this is a lusty offer. This is an, in it's a very intentional offer. It's got romance attached to it. It's got sex attached to it. And we've got somebody kind of standing by their convictions, somebody kind of fighting off any doubt, whether it's outside doubt or like being questioned, their opinions and their convictions being questioned or even fighting off their inner doubt. Um, Hierophant, which I believe is Taurus energy. So there's kind of like a way things are done, right? And I think you're gonna be very aware of your belief systems, your disciplines, your priorities, and the little systems in your life that set your life in balance are gonna be the utmost of importance. 
Um, and so you're going to be very aware of that. I think when this offer comes to, does it rattle you up? Does it kick you off of your routines? Does it kick you off of your balance? And while you, nobody wants that, this offer is coming in pretty, pretty lusty. <laughs> Anything else that we need to know for Taurus before we get advice? Two cards fly out. Yeah, they flew out upside down. Yeah, I, I feel like with the three of pentacles and the nine of wands upside down, I feel like you don't need the advice of others. You might have some other people's opinions coming into the picture. You might have a frenzy of advice and, and you're just like, you're tired of taking other people's advice. You're going to do what you want, basically. Let's get some clarity and advice from Tarot regarding your love reading. It's a very interesting reading. What's shining through the most, the strongest, is that despite whether or not people, like it definitely feels like people want you. And they also, there's other people that want you to listen to them regarding all your love stuff. I could be friends, I could be family. Um, you are gonna be really focused on yourself and your balance. Um, and what's gonna be throwing. You do not wanna be thrown off. And you're gonna have a lot of wherewithal to fight for your own convictions, not what other people are telling you. What is Tarot advising Taurus? And take this only if it resonates, of course. So, what is the cost of being right? The Five of Swords, that's what it makes us think. Like, what is the cost of being right? We've got three of pentacles. Oh, this is starting to look like something. One sec. Taurus, advice from tarot in love. Advice from tarot in love. This has been a slippery deck this, uh, this morning. Yeah, okay. So let me take a look at this real quick. Please have patience with me, you guys. I just, I really want to steer us straight. You might feel a little bit defensive over something. You don't want to maybe admit that somebody might be right here, but there's something beautiful that is happening um, when you, you're you letting somebody in. So you're in this place of like getting advice. You don't want to listen to it. Um, you don't want to listen to any outside opinions that might sway you from your convictions because you've worked really hard to find your balance and your, and, um, get back on track. That's the words that are, that are popping in my mind. But there is somebody here that if you collaborate with, and for some of you guys, this might be a therapist. And for some of you guys, this, like the three of pentacles sometimes even means online dating, but I, I don't feel like that's necessarily what it is with um, the majority of you guys, because it's coming out with five of swords. So this feels like, you know, if, the cost of being right is that you might miss out on an opportunity. And that's what Tarot is advising you is consider that instead of just being doing la 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 to everybody, possibly letting this one person in because they, they truly might steer you towards this opportunity. There's this love opportunity, a passionate love opportunity. It doesn't have to be sexual. This is somebody who really cares for your well-being. And that's the star card right there, Aquarian energy of um, serving your highest good, who you truly are, not necessarily what they want for you, for themselves. You know what I mean? How people will give advice that's, it's biased. This is an individual that you might have already said screw off to or you know kind of put the hand up to but tarot is saying there might be a gift in that in, in actually letting collaborating with them collaborating with this energy all right so i hope that's helpful um and i will see you for the weeklies um and then the december reading until then take good care of yourselves and thank you for joining me